horrendous, really bad. It's really, really bad. It is ugly. It's been hit with the ugly stick. Nice work of art by the look of it. It's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. I think it's a bit of a monstrosity. Doesn't work very often either. How does it work? <laughs> Who designed that one? Uh, Victor. Victor? Who's that? Victor is this man, artist, engineer, chicken hater. It's all of my experience, uh, all of my uh, love of living, all of my fear about the future. Victor, this um, is your child. Of course it is, absolutely. Not only can Victor's creation tell the time three different ways, but properly manipulated, it can play endless songs of joy. Each of the ordinary everyday art lovers of Hornsby, well ratepayers, have paid just a few dollars each to buy more than a million dollars worth of conversation topics in one. Give the children the inspiration, okay, knowing about how clock works and uh, a lot of uh, artistic uh, imagination about it. Yeah. Well, there's not many fountains like it. That's true. Is that a good or a bad thing? It's good, yeah. They talk about how it took two and a half years to build. They talk about its ancient, confused pedigree. But most of all, they talk about how seldom it works. Every morning I come by and there's, um, most of the time there's a man in the middle of it just fixing it. And I don't see why they... What's the point of it? What's the matter with it this time? Nothing. Nothing. However, if you'd ask the council's reluctant icon minder the same question over a drink, He'd probably have screamed, <laughs> Victor, a lot of the time, it doesn't work. Oh, this is, this is partly true, but it's not really because of problems within the sculpture itself. Victor doesn't really hate chickens but he does have a bone to pick with the disposers of their skeletal remains. We've been taking out chicken bones and bottle tops and olive pips and uh, lumps of branch and leaf that should never have got through the, the filter system. Now that, that is being and has been addressed. It's a minute past. <coughs> Apparently there are three different clocks. Do you, do you appreciate kidding. that looking at it? Um, no, it reminds me of a big pregnant Meccano set. Do you know what time it is now? Um, yeah, it's... it's quarter to five. Yes. Uh, look at the clock and tell me what time it is. I wouldn't know. Actually, it was still about quarter to five. Can the clock ever become accurate yes. while it's breaking down? Uh, well, the, 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 the clock is accurate. I mean, the function of the clock being accurate, if you stop the water, the clock stops, that's not accurate. <laughs> At least with all that fresh running water, the fountain's been attracting bird life to the mall. Well, maybe not. It's cost a lot of money, more than a million dollars, if you include all of the improvements mm. to the mall. Do you think it's worth that much? Yeah. Yeah. I think so, so as you turn around and look at this, where's the value for money? What do you see? Well, I think it would bring tourists, and if they bring tourists, the uh, business people will make more money. Whatever the critics may say, it's certainly different. And there's no shortage of people eager to have a look and ponder what it means to them. Are they looking at it because it's magnificent, or are they looking at it because it's bizarre? Does it matter? If, I mean, the sculpture's designed, it, it's, if, everything is to the person who looks at it. I mean, uh, if, if a person looks at the sculpture and they find it's a curiosity and they are curious about it, that's great. Hornsby's got...